Wild Forest School is all about getting um, children of Leicester out and about exploring nature and getting hands on. Nick Baker is uh, Vice President of the Wildlife Trust. So he was an obvious choice to come out today and speak with the children. He is extremely inspiring and engaging and it shows his passion shines through and, and it shows our passion as well for wildlife at the Wildlife Trust. I've been doing something which I've enjoyed doing ever since, uh, no pun intended, well actually a little bit of a pun intended, ever since I was knee high to a grasshopper, which is I've been doing a bug hunt. Um, and I've been taking kids that uh, wouldn't, I guess maybe wouldn't normally necessarily have the opportunity to do such a thing. We take them out into the woods and show them just how much exciting stuff there is there. So those are beetles and spiders and flies. And, oh, it's been great. Well, I think it is absolutely a fantastic opportunity for a lot of children that have been taking part. Um, some of the children won't have much access at all to green space. As I said before, the children go to schools that don't have green space there. So coming out here is a completely different learning experience for them and I think they really get a lot out of it. The teachers and teaching assistants say they're always smiling and really enjoying it and getting hands-on with the activities. And for a smaller group of children who particularly suffer from maybe low self-esteem or aren't as confident as their classmates, it's been a real boost to them and I've heard from one teacher where there's a child that hardly ever speaks at school and has been speaking during the forest school sessions and seems to be really engaging with them and enjoying them. Not only is it there's interactions between between the kids and the teachers. It breaks down lots of those uh, protocols of the classroom in some way. So everyone learns from everybody else. But on top of that, you've got, you've got the natural classroom to inspire you. So there's been creativity here. So I've, I've watched people be inspired by things they're seeing crawling up the bush next to them. They've made something out of clay that looks like it. I've seen beautiful collages. I've seen um, all sorts of crafty skills. But just being outdoors doing these things is, is wonderful. But using the outdoors to inspire those creations is something else. Then, of course, there's the science. So that's where I've come in. I've been taking them out and showing them sort of, I guess, basics of ecology, but the, the hooks that we all, which get us all really. Not we, you know, we don't go into it talking about ecosystems. We get into the the little the little fun bits first, and then later on in life, those things will join up naturally, um, and it fires up this curiosity, natural curiosity, and exploration, and all those things come out of the day like today. It's just been fun. I've had a blast as well. I, I've learned stuff, you know, and uh, it's been a, just a wonderful, wonderful experience for everybody. I think. Well, we've see, received some fantastic support from players of People's Postcode Lottery, which really helped us to extend our forest school programme in Leicester this year. So with their support, we're working with 10 Leicester City primary schools and we're able to run forest school sessions, 10 forest school sessions with each group of school children at those schools. We've we'll also set up two Wild Tots groups, which are for preschool aged children and their families, which have been really popular. Um, we're also working with two groups of home educated children and we've been able through the funding to create three wild areas in Leicester City Primary Schools. Well, today has been made possible, one, the British summertime has, has helped, um, but also loads of enthusiasm, not just from uh, the students, uh, you know, the kids themselves, but the teachers and, and the Wildlife Trust staff that have come along and made this their baby, um, but also players of people's postcode lottery. 